When addressing the needs of our community, is it better to be proactive or reactive? Today, I offer you an opportunity to affect change in Sacramento for the foreseeable future by proactively reducing poverty. There is only a 5% chance an under-resourced youth will return to poverty after achieving a college degree. Yet here are the facts. In California alone, 25% of children live in poverty, low-income students score half as well as the more affluent peers when testing, and just 38% graduate high school college ready. That's where Breakthrough comes in. For 28 years, Breakthrough Sacramento has offered year-round tuition-free college preparatory programming, partnering with youth on a six-year journey towards becoming the first in their families to achieve higher education. Two students in two different school districts sit down to take the same test. One gets a 95, the other gets a 70. Does this mean one student is more capable than the other? No. It means one school district may have access to resources such as free tutoring, AP classes, field trips, and more, while the other school district may not be able to offer these resources. So where do their students get these opportunities? Our journey begins with Breakthrough Summer Academy, a fun and challenging academic enrichment program for our rising seventh through ninth grade students. Utilizing our nationally ranked student teachership internship program, we offer six weeks of hands-on, student-led writing, literature, and STEM education. The academic enrichment and fun continues into the school year with free tutoring, paid internships, college readiness courses, monthly field trips, and so much more for our nearly 300 7th to 12th grade students. So what can happen when youth has access to equitable education? Today, Adina is starting at USC, Claire at UCLA, Jackie at UC Davis, and are you ready for this? Jesus at Stanford. And this is just a handful of our many incredibly talented Breakthrough students we have. And with your help, we can continue to fund journeys just like theirs. We are carefully collaborating with area Title I schools, nonprofits, and foundations. We are seeking an investment of $75,000 to fund the next 50 students on their journey to higher education. Your donation of just $1,500 will help one youth six-year journey to higher education. It's time to be proactive. 95% of impoverished youth who achieve a college degree will never experience poverty again. Education is the answer. Together, we can create lasting impact for first-generation low-income students, their families, and our community, one student at a time. Thank you. Fantastic. And now let's shift the attention to our celebrity influencers. Scott, what'd you think? Well, I'm still waiting to know who the celebrities are on this uh, judging panel, but it's okay. We'll, 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 keep, we'll keep waiting. Uh, Carly, well done. Uh, one more, deserves another round of applause. And your, and your boats, so you use the QR code uh, that we've been told to do. I loved uh, how you uh, kind of walked us down the path of what uh, the service kind of spectrum looks like, and you, you even gave us some names to think about, and real people uh, to draw us back to. Touched my heart for sure. I love that you incorporated the use of numbers and data and, and painted the picture well enough so we, we kind of understand uh, what it is we're up against as it relates to this program and, and, and its intersection with poverty. So, uh, loved it, thought you hit, hit it on the head the entire way through. It's hard to be first, and you killed it. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll second that. I thought you did a great job, Carly, and I loved how you kind of started out and, and gave us the picture of what a lack of education and poverty results in. So we caught you laid the groundwork for that, and then you did take us through all that you offer, and then finally your successes. And when you said $1,500 at first, I thought, man, that's a big ask. But then when you talked about how it would help a six-year journey, I thought, that is changing a person's life. And is that not worth $1,500? Absolutely. So I thought you did a wonderful job and uh, really, gave me the sense of how important the work is that you do because educated students help society as a whole. So great job, Craig. Thank you so much.
believe it was uh, Whitney Houston that said, I believe the children are our future, right? Yes. Teach them well and let, let them, them lead, lead the way. way. Exactly. So I think that you did a really good job of illustrating how we teach them well. Where you can backfill areas where accessibility might be an issue. I loved when you were comparing different school districts that might have access to things that some others don't. I think that that was a really, really key thing that you hit on. And then your stats were really strong. I mean, when you hear the numbers that only 38% of high school students are college ready, it really speaks to the need that this program offers. So really well done. I echo my other, my other judges' comments as well. Kudos to you. Thank you so much.